So you click on this link because you want to know the top 2023 school districts here in Colorado Springs. Well, Kaylee and I are on the scene. We're going to tell you the top three school districts here in Colorado Springs. If you have kiddos that are moving here, you won't want to miss this. Hey Colorado Springs, it's Kayleen and Lori here with Colorado's Finest Agency here in beautiful Colorado Springs, Colorado. Even though we love making these videos, we love even more making Colorado Springs your home. If this is your first time to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and if you're thinking of making the move, make sure and pick up the phone. Call Lori and I. We know our neighborhoods and schools inside and out. We actually worked at school districts for quite a while here. So go ahead, pick up the phone, get Give us a call. We love to talk to you. 719-639-3393. So we are going to give you a little tour today of the top three school districts here in Colorado Springs. A lot of our clients reach out to us because we know our school so well. And if you have kiddos, that's a great valuable tool for you guys as you move across state lines or move to the area. So niche.com, we are going to, um, you know, look at the top three school districts based on what niche.com just came out with in ratings for 2023. So one of the top school districts in, you know, what comes out in niche.com number one is the Cheyenne Mountain School District Eight. They no, came out not as eight, 12. number 12. one. They came out as number one, Cheyenne Mountain District 12. It's a smaller school district here in the southern part of Colorado Springs. Broadmoor so, Bluffs, Broadmoor feeds into the school district. So what really put it into perspective to me, Lori and I were going through the report and talking through numbers. And um, in this school district, it only services, or there's only 5,000 people. Right. Um, you go up to District 20 and you're well over 20,000, so it is a 25. much smaller. Yes. Oh, it was over 25. Uh -huh. it, it is a much smaller school district down here. Right. So if you want a close knit, there's only one high school, only one um, middle school. We're at an elementary school right now here. We're going to kind of show you some of these schools so you can see. We know it's a major part of your decision when and moving to the areas. Class sizes was 15 to one, great test scores. So a really good small school district. You hear a lot about District 20. It is large, it's very well sought after. I think that's after. why you hear about it a lot because it's a lot, that it's five times the size of where we're at. Now, with that being said, the schools still have um, the same relative amount of kids because like when we uh, play District 12 in sports, District 12 is still 5A um, and 4A for d different sports. Um, you know, there's still a lot of kids that go to the school, but the district itself is smaller than District 20. Right, so we're gonna get out and show you, like drive you by some of the schools so you can see what they look like. As we said, we know it's a big deal to you guys. We're gonna go show you District 20, um, show you what some of those schools look like and talk about that a little bit. And then we're gonna zone into the number three, which is the Lewis Palmer School District up in Northern Colorado Springs Monument area and actually show you what that looks like as, as well. So. so while we're here, we are at Cheyenne Mountain Elementary. Yeah. Um, to be honest, Colorado Springs, we are just very uh, lucky and grateful. We have a community that really pours into our schools. Um, you know, anytime a bond comes up or, you know, in, any sort of voting, it is very rare that they don't get Although passed. Lewis Palmer to, doesn't pass their, they don't oh, pass Oh, they them. didn't No, this they year. do not pass it as much as like uh, District 20 or District 12. Uh-huh. Or, um, so. But, but. At all of the school districts we are going to be talking to you about are incredible. I will recommend go straight to their website. Check out their website, look at their administration info, and then go to the school website itself and read about what programs they are highlighting. And I would say a lot of times also of our clients that they have real specific questions and they want more of like a general community feel answer, hop on our Facebook group, Colorado yes. Springs, what's going on, and 
kind of ask those questions specifically you know we've had clients with kids with autism or you have clients with um, who had special needs or they want a language immersion program or you know there's so many different types of programming within a school we don't know schools. it all but um, we have a great local resource on that right. Facebook. we have group. a good pulse on it but it's a great way to get like local moms perspectives who are you know um, experiencing it firsthand right now, maybe the same situation you're in. So we're gonna get out and show you um, exactly what these schools look like. And so if you have any questions, as always reach out, um, give us a call or text anytime. So this is a classic example of Cheyenne Mountain 12 elementary school. The, one of the main elementary schools, they have one middle school. It is Cheyenne Mountain Middle School and they have a Cheyenne Mountain High School. The Cheyenne Mountain High School is a beautiful campus. Um, they have outdoor stadiums that sit right at the base of um, the mountains and it's just a gorgeous setting. But this is one of the main elementary schools here in this district. So this is um, a District 20 Eagle View Middle School. So District 20, as we talked about, is a larger school district. So this is one of many middle schools, whereas at Cheyenne Mountain, which was District 12 rated number one, is only 5, 5,500 uh, students. District 20 is about that 25,000. So about, I would say, six middle schools, I would say, in the area. And this is one that sits on the west side over here in Rock Rimmon. So today we are all business talking schools with you That's and great. we decided to come over here. Lori and I reviewed niche.com's uh, report that they just came out with best schools here in Colorado Springs and we are winding up here today at the number two choice? Number two it? school district here in Colorado Springs which is Academy District 20. A lot of you will call and talk to us specifically about this district. Um, it gets probably one of the most talked about districts well, here and in Colorado probably Springs. because it's so big. It is. It's a That's huge what about. district. It is. Uh, classroom size is about 16 to 1 and they do decent on their test score is around 50 to 60 percent proficiency depending upon the subject which is actually pretty decent i think they're um, reading wise all right comparing to district 12 um their district 20 had higher reading scores but a less than math score right in general, according to niche.com. They're really great schools, you guys. Um, you know, you can't go wrong sometimes with these schools. Of course, you're gonna have, you know, things you like and don't like about it. My kids go to District 20 schools. Kayleen's school, kids go to District 20 schools. We've worked in District 20 schools. Um, my husband has worked in like five other districts here in Colorado Springs. All of them, of course, have their pros and cons, but you know, it's really when you reach out to us and kind of tell us, you know, what you're looking for ratings wise, maybe program wise, do you want IB or AP? Do you want language immersion programs? Um, there's French, there's Spanish. Um, there's a lot of different options um, as far as- But I'd uh, have to say like elementary, go. they'll have, you know, their culture to their school or whatever. Middle school kind of dives into a little bit of a niche here um culture i guess and then when you where you really see the difference is at the high school level when you say you know what this school houses these programs this high school houses these programs and that's really where you see in my opinion the biggest difference um but of course you know you want your kids to um possibly be able to go to school with that same group of kids and you don't um, so that's why these feeder schools would be important for that. And I would say we term. had kids go to, you know, we had kids do, there's different like preschool programs. Um, they can get into it for free if they qualify based on different needs. Um, if your kid has a 504, if your kid has an IEP, if there's severe needs, there's, um, if they're dyslexic, there's lots of different programming throughout all of Colorado and especially as you zone into some of these districts that we know really well because, um, you know, my kids went to a language immersion program, my kids go to an IB school, my husband has worked in the schools, Kayleen and I worked in a K through 12 um, IB school that was, you know, your kids start in kindergarten, Super go easy. all the way through, there's full day kindergarten. So there's a lot of different options here and all the schools are a little bit and different. And then at the end of the day, if it comes down to logistics for you and your family, you will want to consider living um, with the school of choice as the neighborhood school if you do not want to have to worry about any sort of transportation. So when, when you call us, um, you know, we're going to ask lots of questions. If school is a big factor, then we're going to ask you very 
logistical questions and act, to be honest, pretty forward straight questions so we can best help you. Um, you know, we even have families that come out and while they're looking for homes, we've set them up on school tours. Yeah. We have a lot of friends um, with connections in the different school districts. So if you're really leaning towards specific schools we can set you up with a tour you've um, got friends in low places we <laughs> do i like that as well. little garth brooks song and then the yeah. other thing that i wanted to mention when it comes to um schools is that at the end of the day um you know colorado springs does have that school of choice so if you wind up somewhere where you aren't completely in love with the options um you can change that nothing's super permanent and we have a lot of charter schools here too that are really well known and the classical academy um is one of the most well-known schools and they have um locations up in the briargate northgate area um uh, one we of have our a clients, lot of online school options as well right and one of our clients they um you know they have their kids in three different schools right now as they're waiting to get into those different schools you know after they move here so if that's you know if you're thinking of moving here you know obviously reach out give us a call or text we can help set you up those logistics as far as do you need to be in the neighborhood do you need to get on a list is it school of choice is there a choice application um, a lot of those things are variables when you are moving to the area and so the sooner you can get um, reach out and give us a call and kind of tell us what you're looking for how old your kiddos are what's important to you in a school district the more we can zone in and make sure you're prepared um, especially when you're doing your home search, number one, do you want to be close? Do you want your kids to ride the bus? Do you want them to walk? Um, all those are factors that feed into that. So this is a little bit of District 20 here. I think there might be a fire drill I going on behind us. <laughs> we may want to get out of the fire So lane. we're going to leave before the fire trucks come. So we'll see you at Lewis Palmer, District 38. All right, so we're rounding out our top three school districts. According to niche.com, as you can see, a busy, busy intersection. We're right behind Lewis Palmer High School. There are two high schools in this district. This district, you know, we talk about number one, Cheyenne Mountain being about 5,500 students. Academy District 20 was 25,000. And here we are in Lewis Palmer, which is about 6,500 kids. A little bit higher student to teacher ratio, about one to 17. Still great test scores. Which interesting about this district is, you know, there's one middle school, one high school, I'm sorry, two high schools. So you have few elementary schools, one middle school, and then you have two large high schools. There's a lot of charter schools that feed into this community. A lot of times they don't pass mill levies, which is really interesting to me in this area, but great sports, great curriculum, sought after school district here, especially if you wanna be, you know, have your kids be closer to Denver, and then you maybe work in Colorado Springs or whatever that might look like as far as the dynamics. But all these schools here sit along that I-25 corridor, and then all of Monument can go back towards like Sanctuary Point, some of those other school districts we talk about. So great option, number three here in the area, Lewis Palmer, Palmer District 38.